All right, I'm back. We got ourselves some trapdoor. This one's called Eden. This is a cold IPA coming in at 7.2 ABV. A very tropical, colorful label with the blues and pinks and greens. Very good looking label. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy, pour it up, and see what we have. <laughs> I keep a uh, I keep saying that, like that cigar reviewer I'm watching, Cigar Hound Dog, it's almost like he leaves the H off the have. You know, instead of saying, let's see what we have, he just says, av. Let's see what we have. <laughs> I'm like, okay, buddy. Um, so there's a look at it. For a cold IPA, it definitely has a little bit of, a uh, little bit of haze going to it, or perhaps unfiltered. It doesn't look like a really opaque haze. About two fingers of bright white head. Nice uh, citrus, kind of a mellow citrus as well as a little bit floral on the nose. Wow. For 7.2 that's pretty approachable actually. Um, mellow citrus carries over it does it does kind of have a little bit of citrus pith in there as well kind of like um like the bitter rind almost perhaps a little bit of those uh greener floral notes as well kind of medium bitterness juicy but it's mellow not bad. It's actually kind of crisp and refreshing. I like it. Let us get right into the shave for today. So this is a sample that was given to me by Carlos or Shave on Gents on Instagram. Definitely check him out. He is a new member of our community that is just so fucking cool. I really appreciate Carlos. He is a, a Canadian fella and he sent me a box of samples. Um, and this was one of them. So this is from Westman Shaving out of Portugal. And it's not called A. Garez. Uh, as a matter of fact, the A, uh, it looks like an A, but we can go ahead and cross that out. It's not A. Garez. It's actually supposed to be a little, a little something over the E right there. So it's supposed to be uh, Garez or something like that. I don't know. It's Portuguese, but Garez. So, I don't know. I tried looking it up, but I probably already forgot the pronunciation. Sorry. I'm American. It is what it is. Um, I do have this, this soap already loaded up into my shave bowl. You can see where I kind of scooped it smooth. It is a quite soft soap that can be pressed into very easily. And the scent on this one is really good. It reminds me of one of my favorite fougeres in my collection, which I'm actually gonna be using as the uh, aftershave for today's shave. So I got it already whipped up right here. This is my Thirsty Badger shaving bowl, black, red, and white um, product out of Canada. Awesome shaving bowl. In the middle of the shaving bowl, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that little hump right in the middle is a Van Ule menthol dot. So it's one of these little samples, this menthol dot. And it's basically a miniature menthol soap that you press into the middle of your shave bowl or you press into the middle of your uh, soap of choosing. And when you lather, as you deteriorate that, um, menthol dot it adds ever so slightly a little bit of menthol to your lather so we got a great looking lather here we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute we got our sawdust creation studios brush right here this is kind of like pink and copper and, and orange um, very good looking uh, brush right here on top we have a paragon shaving bore knot which paragon is out of uh, Canada sawdust is from the states so let's go ahead and get some cold water on the face today we're doing a cold water shave the house is kind of warm 
So we're gonna do a cold water shave today. Plus I've been doing a lot of chores this morning. Um, got Monday off for the holidays, so always got to appreciate having a extra long weekend. Let's go ahead and grab some of this lather. Um, very, very small, almost invisible bubbles. This is a dense and creamy looking lather. This will be my first impressions of Westman Shaving out of Portugal. And this may be my first Portuguese soap. I'm kind of struggling to think of a another one that I've had. I know, I've not, I know it's not their only soap. There's another one out there that's also escaping me. Um, that I saw another YouTuber use, but I know I haven't used it. Um, but this one here, this one seems to be more in line with the artisan wet shaving community. They are, you know, releasing on a somewhat normalized schedule, you know, a couple cents or a cent every few months or a cent a month or something like that. I don't know. Um, I've been seeing them around. I've been seeing them get uh, reviewed over and over um, by some of the European shavers as well as a few of uh, the guys from the States. Um, seems to me like they are getting good reviews across the board. I, look, I took a look at their ingredients which uh, I didn't write down nor do I ever really go on too much about the ingredients because for me the ingredients are kind of an afterthought. It's either you are releasing a good quality product or you're not and I'm gonna be able to tell that from you know the looks of the lather the boldness of the scent strength which this one is bold and banging by the way it's probably a 7 out of 10 it's a brighter uh, lighter fougere which I appreciate um, I think it's perfect for this time of the year we're kind of leaving winter entering spring Good looking lather here. Nice amount of density. Feels luxurious. It kind of has like a medium weight on the skin. Today we're going to be using our Charcoal Goods Level 2 Safety Razor with a standard bar. We got an RK Chromium blade loaded up on its second use. And then the handle on this one is a Alpha Shaving Company. Whoa, upside down. Alpha Shaving Company uh, Outlaw Handle which is a very good looking universal handle. It pretty much looks right with um, any razor head. It just it has a nice heft to it. Uh, not too long, not too short. Just a really good, really good um, looking handle there. Plenty of knurling for grip as well. As I mentioned in my last video, my barber kind of took my beard down lower than I like it, which isn't always a, isn't usually an issue, but uh, I think he may have been tired or distracted. I don't know. But I've been with that dude for over a decade. I mean, doesn't make mistakes often. I'm trying to go for like right at the middle of my lips, like right in the middle of my mouth, trying to make it meet right there. <clears throat> I kind of like that height. My beard would probably go all the way up here, kind of scattered. Um, if I didn't keep it tight and keep it um, uniform like that. So let's talk a little bit about Westman shaving again. Out of Portugal, this is a tallow shave soap. It does have multiple butters in it. Now, I don't want to just go off the dome because, again, I didn't write the scent or the uh, ingredients down anywhere. But this one had a lot of uh, butters um, as well as a tallow base. So just just from giving it the quick once over. It looked like this is an excellent formula, formula shave soap. Like it looked like it had the goods. Um, 
kind of checked all the boxes from a uh, from an artisan standpoint. Um, me being a seasoned wet shaver, I saw everything that I like seeing. And they have nice labels too. Um, Westman Shaving, they have nice labels. So I think after this experience here, I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, buy a full puck of Westman Shaving. Uh, to me, that, that first pass was just flawless. I mean, plenty of slickness. Like I said, it had a nice luxurious density to it, about medium weight. Um, scent strength, about 7 out of 10. It's bold, it's banging. Uh, the scent on this one, marjoram, which I should have looked that up. I have no idea what marjoram is. Um, but the rest of these, oak moss, juniper, patchouli, vetiver, pepper, lavender, bergamot. Uh, you can kind of see where the... Uh, Fougere Accord is being built there. Really nice, bright, green Fougere. Woodsy, not too spicy. Um, but the lavender is still there. It's just kind of, it's all kind of like equal parts other than that bright green Accord. That bright green accord is probably the main note. And then, you know, lavender, vetiver, um, you know, some of the supporting notes just kind of make it what it is, but a really approachable scent. It's almost got a spa-like quality to it, in my opinion. Uh, and, and by that, I just mean it's kind of um, calming, something that if you were in kind of like a, like a, what do they call those things? A spa? The, the steam room? Whatever the fuck they call that. Something that if they had like a, a steamer in there with this scent to kind of uh, fill the steam room, I think that would be very uh, calming and very luxurious. I think it would be a wonderful way to relax. Um, but bright green scent, definitely approachable. This would be wonderful as like a candle as well. <clears throat> um, it actually smells similar to my favorite Fougere of all time. This one's from Purely Skinful out of Canada. This one's called Fougere Luxe. And if you notice, it shares a lot of the same scent notes. So that Fougere chord, it shares a lot of the same scent notes between this and the uh, Gerez. Uh, from Westman Shaving. <clears throat> Very light menthol chill from that menthol dot. We go against the grain and see how this soap does. At this point, um, I really see no flaws. It seems to be holding on. Um, the longevity and stability of the lather seems to be there. It's not breaking down or dissolving on me. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I think, um, I think a tub or two of Westman shaving could be in my future. I have a few more Westman samples in the the box that Carlos sent me. So look forward to some more uh, sample reviews coming up. The full puck, at least on the RazorCompany.com, was um, twenty six dollars for four point two ounces. So that'll give you an idea. You don't normally see 4.2 ounces on the jar. 
Most artisans, it's either four ounces or five ounces. But 4.2 is cool with me, a little bit extra. A little, um, a little pinch extra for, for the customer, I ain't mad at that. Um, I do have a Razor Company affiliate link as well as uh, Murphy and McNeil and the wet shaving store. I always put them in the description of the video for anybody that is interested. Looks like I got a weeper on this side. Didn't feel that. Shave has been more or less flawless, very comfortable. Very enjoyable shave other than that one weeper there. I think I'm gonna get away with a uh, BBS, baby butt smooth shave here. Very minimal effort, it was easy to lather. And um, now that the shave is over, I think I can easily say that that was really good stuff. Good original slickness, decent residual slickness. Gave me a BBS shave, so. All right, let's go ahead and rinse off. We'll get into post shave here. With all those uh, butters and, and oils in the uh, ingredients list, pretty sure I'm gonna have a decent post shave at least. <clears throat> so scent on this one still there still prominent it's pretty much filled up my bathroom which I do not mind that whatsoever <clears throat> still got plenty of lather in the bowl there I always load heavy when I'm trying something new uh, but in all honesty I didn't load extremely heavy um, even though this was a soft soap I kind of feel like a little bit went a long way, which is not always the case with soft soaps. I have my, uh, <laughs> I have my Baskin Robbins ice cream sample spoon right here. It has about an almond sized uh, um, scoop right there, and that is, that is all I used. I didn't I didn't have a heavy spoon this time. I I, I just kind of filled that up and we saw how we did and it made plenty of lather. I probably could have got three more passes uh, out of that. So a little bit went a long way even though it's a uh, soft soap which that's cool, that's, that's good to see. <clears throat> All right, let us get into some matching aftershave, or not matching, complimenting aftershave. This is a witch hazel base aftershave. See the ingredients. Let's give it a good shake. Purely Skinful is still my favorite aftershave sucks that they closed down their website um, you can still get their products at Stonefield shaving but you can't get them direct from purely skinful anymore we got a quality industry standard restrictor kind of a milky uh, consistency and color on the purely skinful aftershave you kind of see it leave like a like a white milky foam on the lat on the hands when you um, when you stir it up it goes on a little bit thick for an aftershave it kind of has like a little bit of viscosity to it but when it soaks in to your skin and I like putting this one everywhere when it soaks into your skin it leaves your skin feeling fantastic so, and then there's no burn. 
it's just very soothing as soon as it hits the skin um, no burn not even where I had the little weeper so uh, really good stuff if you're into a more soothing aftershave I don't mind alcohol aftershaves but this one doesn't have alcohol and doesn't bother me one bit so all right guys thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video thank you again one more time to my buddy Carlos from shave on gents please check him out on Instagram and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one hope you have a good week